The convenience and flexibility of having access to two operating systems that both have their strong suits and can come together for one powerful setup is an intriguing premise. So I ask you, is the iPad's best accessory actually a computer? Hi, I'm Skipen. A lot of my drawings are done on iPads nowadays. That's because they are the most convenient, accessible, and portable devices out there. Over the past few years, we've seen a great increase in drawing apps on iPads that range from mobile powerhouses like Procreate to desktop ports like Clip Studio. But we've also seen compromises like Photoshop for iOS that really misses the mark. I think a lot of artists have grown to love their iPad, but they still miss a lot of that core software that they enjoyed using on their desktops. It's a difficult problem because you can't simply run a desktop app on iOS, especially a legacy app like the original Paint Tool Sai. Easy Canvas is a great workaround for this though. It's an app that you install on both your iPad and your computer, and it allows you to mirror your Windows or Mac machine to your iPad while still maintaining Apple Pencil support. I've covered Easy Canvas in a previous video, and I'll link that down below, but this is how I've been running real Photoshop, Krita, Paint Tool Side 2, and you could also run Clip Studio on your desktop and just not pay that subscription fee on iPad if that's what you want to do. That's all great, but I don't like to be chained to my desk when it comes to iPads. If I were going to run those programs at home, I feel like there's an easier way to do so. The strong suits of the iPad, and more specifically the iPad Mini 5, is its small lightweight design, which makes it really friendly and inviting, especially compared to Windows tablets. So I wanted something that would complement the iPad's strong suits and still let me run my favorite desktop apps. My solution was the GPD P2 Max. It has a shockingly similar footprint to the iPad Mini 5 and comes in a familiar gray color. The P2 Max is a newer offering from GPD, which is a small manufacturer known for packing some serious components into a small chassis. The P2 Max I have is spec'd out with a Core M3 and 16 gigs of RAM, which lets me run my 2D design apps fairly decently. I'll put a link in the description to a file that I like to use for benchmarking, not only software, but also hardware like this P2 Max, and it's representative of most the work that I do, an A4 size canvas at 300 dpi with over 50 layers. The P2 Max was able to run this file relatively well, and with the iPad Mini 5 it's still small enough to fit in my pocket, and with just a lightning cable, I can connect the two using Easy Canvas to draw in the most unlikely of situations. And the whole setup can be powered over a battery bank, so this is a really portable setup. You can take it anywhere with you and run Photoshop on your iPad. But what I really like about this setup beyond the convenience is the freedom to choose the right tools for the task at hand. Compared to using a Windows tablet, if what you want to do is say draw on a train, the iPad is going to be much more convenient with the ability to use a robust touch gesture system on a variety of different apps. On the other hand, if you want to do some typing or file management, the P2 Max is going to come in much more handy with an integrated keyboard and trackpad. When I can sit down at a table, I can combine both into this little powerhouse where I can do my line work and coloring, in theory at least. All of that would be true, except anything in this form factor is going to have a subpar trackpad and a non-standard keyboard. The P2 Max is no exception to this. Whenever I'm using the keyboard, I think I'm going to hit one key and I end up hitting another because of that non-standard keyboard. Because it's not a full-size keyboard, you often have to press an extra function key to get access to commands such as zoom in and zoom out. After the fifth missed input, I have to start looking down at the keyboard to find the right keys, taking me out of the flow of things and making me wish I had brought along my MacBook that has a more standard keyboard and a better trackpad. But then again, the P2 Max and the iPad Mini both fit in my pocket, so... With a little tinkering, you could get the P2 Max to work with you and not against you. Using programs like Sharp Keys and Anti-Micro, you could assign any letter to any key on your keyboard or a controller. This is the same way that I improve my workflow on the iPad by using Bluetooth controllers like this one. You can remap it and add any number of functions to the keys on here. Adding your most commonly used shortcuts and tools to a controller like this one, or making commonly used keys more accessible on a keyboard should lead to a smoother experience. There's still little annoyances, but having most of your commonly used tools and functions on a controller like this one, and still having a keyboard for those less commonly used but still very important functions is a good compromise. It's pretty easy to press L for a lasso, then Control T to start transforming a selection with the keyboard rather than navigating menus in an iOS app. With a keyboard, you still have access to something like the command key to activate a free transform mode when you need it. So after a bit of practice and the combination of a controller and the P2 Max could really make a little productivity machine. It's unfortunate that the P2 Max isn't perfect out of the box, but with a little bit of patience, a little bit of customization, and maybe some of these accessories, 
I think you could really shape it into the thing that could work for you. For most people, this setup might be a little bit too limiting, and in most cases, artists can still take advantage of Easy Canvas on their iPad and whatever laptop or desktop they are currently using. But for those looking for a minimalist small setup, like one of these GBD or other mini computers, I would just make sure that the specs are usable for whatever your favorite software is. And even if you do get that software to run, be aware that you're probably going to have to find workarounds to have this fit into your workflow properly. Whatever setup ends up working for you, know that this is something that is just very exciting to me. I bought into a lot of Windows tablets in the past and they were just too big, too clunky, too inconvenient, and still required you to sit down with a keyboard and mouse and other things to get any work done. Whereas this setup really has the freedom to allow you to use the strong suits of both an iPad and a computer. It's so refreshing to have that flexibility and freedom, but also the synergy when you put the two together in a wonderful small package that I can always carry with me. One other thing that I should mention is that GPD has a Kickstarter right now for a product with an i5 that seems like it's a little bit more capable than this P2 Max called the Win Max. There are also small Windows devices coming out from Alienware, and there's one I believe available now from Smatch Z, and you could presumably run your 2D design apps on these game console-like devices because they run Windows. It's unfortunate that the P2 Max falls just short of being a very good device for me, but I feel like adding a Bluetooth controller or something like the Tap Strap would elevate this to a nice setup that's still minimalist, that's still very small, and still very capable. It is not the ideal or perfect setup, but as the iPad still continues to play catch up with desktop software, I think it's a great solution for artists out there that want access to their favorite 2D design apps, maybe at a limited capacity, but anywhere they can use it. I know things will only continue to improve for artists looking for mobile drawing solutions, and I'm sure that there's always going to be new software and new hardware that will allow us to do more outside of the constraints of our offices. I'm very much looking forward to that. I can only imagine what the future has in stock for us.